Well, Thanksgiving is a time to reflect and count our blessings, and a sweet little girl is getting a much-needed gift just in time for Thanksgiving. My latest Oklahoma's own report shows how kind-hearted friends, family, her doctor, and even strangers help to make it happen. <laughs> this cute little girl sitting with her stuffed cheetah spotty is Sadie Jeffcoat. <laughs> she's giggling even though she's at the doctor's office. There have been a lot of doctor's visits in the last year. A juvenile polycystic astrocytoma. At six years old, she's fought a brain tumor. Doctors removed it, but Sadie lost hearing. She's a total loss in the right ear. This doctor's visit is actually a good visit. <laughs> One the family has been looking forward to. She's getting a bone-anchored hearing aid. She's missing a lot. And so she won't miss it anymore. Wow, look at all that pretty hair. Dr. Jackie Scholl's only rule is that when the device is turned on, mom gets to speak to her first. Can you hear me? Yes. Out of which line? <gasps> oh my gosh! It's a touching moment. What do you think? One even yeah, more special knowing it may not have happened if not for the generosity of others. It's um, incredible and humbling and a blessing. People in Pryor organized a benefit rodeo to raise money to get Sadie's hearing aid. Oklahoma requires insurance to cover the cost of them for children, but... There's loopholes. Insurance companies based out of state are governed by federal rather than state guidelines, meaning they often don't cover hearing aids for kids, leaving the burden on parents. And we're talking six, seven, eight thousand dollars for a set of hearing aids. And many majority can't do it. The rodeo brought in enough to cover the cost and then some. It's it's remarkable. It's awesome. We're so we're thrilled. Is Santa gonna come see you this year? Yes. For a mom with already enough to worry about, this is a blessing just in time for Thanksgiving. These are called zinc air batteries because she's thankful for technology. He's yours. Touched by the kindness of others and grateful her daughter can hear again. A big, huge difference in her life for ever, for, for now on. She'll have this and she needed it really bad. Since some insurance companies don't cover the expense of the hearing aids for children, Dr. Scholl has formed the Children's Hearing and Project, or Hearing Aid Project, that is, to help. It's part of the nonprofit Total Source for Hearing Loss and Access, which is a United Way agency in the area. We have more information on newson6.com.